Hi, Countryside. It's Joe Smith, your general manager, and I am back today with another resident interview. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the master plan project. Uh, we're also referring to it as Countryside 2.0. Two. Um, so today I'm here with uh, Chuck, also known as Charlie yeah. Madsen. Yes. yes. Uh, Mr. Madsen, yeah. you're in Province Way. I'm Province Way in 7360 building, building Excellent. 4. Excellent. Well, I appreciate you sitting down with me today to talk a little bit about the project. Glad to be and, here. Um, I'm particularly interested because you're rather new to the community. Yes, I'm a, this is my third uh, season here. Excellent. Excellent. So why don't you tell me a little bit about how you found out about Countryside, what attracted you here? Well, about five years ago, maybe six years ago, a good friend of ours bought a place here. Mm -hmm. and. Um, he invited me over to take a look at it. He was thinking about maybe renting it out. He wasn't sure what he was going to do. And he ended up uh, using it as his golf course. And he lives uh, over in Old Naples area. Okay. Okay. And he rents it to his uh, uh, one of his relatives all year round. Mm -hmm. So I came and looked at it. And I walked through the unit. And I looked at the building, the outside. And I thought, my goodness, how much did you pay for this? And, and, and he told me. And I was like, this can't be true. I mean, this is this is South Florida. This is unbelievable. And I came down to the clubhouse and walked around and looked around. And I said to my wife, "We need to buy a place today." I mean, really, this really? is this is too good of a, uh, uh, to be true. And anyways, like everything else, you get caught up in it, and then you realize, well, you're still working, you still have a young family, and are you really going to be here that much? So we ended up uh, taking a pass on it. But in my mind, I kept thinking that countryside stood out in my mind. Yeah. And when I was walking around, neighbors would come out and say, are you new? Are you new? And I would say, no, I'm just looking. Oh, my goodness, what a great community. Yeah. And what I realized was that the people were so friendly that I said to my wife, Mary, I said, we got to go back to countryside when it's time to buy a place. And uh, anyways, I never came back. Uh, I called the realtor and I said, here's what I'm looking for. And she laughed because I think everybody's looking for the same. Mm -hmm. And I called her a week later and I said, I haven't heard from you, I'm ready to buy something. And she said, oh my goodness, you're serious. And a week, um, a week later, I had purchased a, a unit. Wow. And so uh, uh, that's how I ended up finding it and being here and loving every minute of it. And I couldn't be happier. Yeah, you know, it's so funny. Um, as I do these interviews, it's like I hear that story over and over and over again. You know, someone, you know, residents are referred by friends or family who live exactly. here, who have experienced it. Um, and then I say, what attracted you to the community? Everybody's so friendly. Oh. You know, it's like, it's Joe, so I have a friend of mine who's here visiting me for a week. He said, Chuck, I can't even take the trash out without talking to four or five yeah. of your neighbors. He yeah. goes, this is incredible. Yeah. He said, I mean, the people here are so friendly. You have so much to offer. And then we play golf. Then we came in and had had lunch, and uh, he, the the staff was like, "Oh, welcome!" Yeah. And uh, so it's a very welcoming community. Yeah, excellent. Well, and I think you know a lot of what the community has done the last several years with um, you know some of the enhancements and the capital projects have just added to a lot of that also. And you know, I, I know certainly you know we'll switch gears a little mm -hmm. bit and start talking about the master plan. There's a big social aspect to that as well. You yes. Know? So. Um, you came into the community just as we were um, finishing up the golf course correct. renovation. Yes, correct. Um, the wellness center was already, been, already been in built. place. Yes. So kind of what was your perception of, of uh, what was going on project-wise at that time? Well, uh, what I, what I, it's sort of a checkoff list. When I uh, ended up coming after I closed, mm -hmm. I realized that uh, we have the golf course. It's phenomenal. Okay, We have the people. Who are phenomenal okay we have the staff that's phenomenal we have the food i mean i've never been to a club i belong to another club in illinois and the food is nowhere compared to this yeah. i mean the food is and people will say oh do you eat at your club and i said i can't wait to eat at the club yeah. and they're like really and the food is that good and then uh, of course um uh the service is great all right there's only one piece that i felt that we were missing mm -hmm. and i'm speaking as a new person, mm -hmm. it's when you come to a community like this, it's hard to break in yeah. because you're new. And little do you know that other people are new too. 
and they're looking forward to meeting you, but they don't know how to meet you either. Mm -hmm. So you end up meeting your neighbor, hopefully, and there's good relationships there with the people in your community. But coming to the club, um, I just feel it felt like we were short there because of the opportunity to meet people because people come in, they're with a group, or they're at the sitting at the bar, and nobody really communicates at the bar unless you're the person right next to you because mm -hmm. everybody's looking out at the beautiful golf mm -hmm. course. Mm -hmm. And um, we have Alex and Maria behind that bar. You couldn't get two better bar yeah, people. Thank you. I mean, they're just incredible. I mean, my friend said to me, this Maria is unbelievable. I mean, she's welcoming me. And I, I just, my first day I was ever here, you yeah. know. So I, I felt like there was an area there that we were missing to allow me as a new person moving in to be able to meet new people. Right, right. So, you know, that being said, um, you know, the bar, the Lakeview Lounge is a big component of, of the proposed project. So let's talk a little bit about that. What are your thoughts on what the committee has put forth? The, um, the drawings, and I know there's just a, a layout of a drawing. Mm -hmm. uh, that concept is the concept that people today want. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, I was at a restaurant last night and uh, everybody wanted to be in the bar because that's where people can communicate and talk. Unless you're having a formal dinner with another couple or a couple other couples or a group, then you don't want to be in that area. But for the most part, just my wife and I walking in, we're looking for an action area. Sure. Okay, and where we can have a drink and maybe go to a formal sit down for a dinner. But... Um, that layout of having a circular area where you can see people across the bar at you that you may know and you wave to and you may end up walking around and having a drink with them, mm -hmm. okay, and then going back to your own bar stool and talking to somebody else. Uh, that in the, in the crossing and having Alex and Maria behind the bar, both people work in the bar at the same time because there's so much action at that bar. Yeah. It's, yeah. A, it's, it's a friendly area that you want to go to. Uh, I was get drawn into it. it. Draw, you're drawn right in. You want to go there yeah. because you know you're going to see somebody that wants mm -hmm. to be able to have a conversation with you or have a drink with you or have an appetizer with you. And uh, that is, uh, uh, I was talking to somebody just recently, they were saying, oh, I'm going to, to, um, to um, what do you call it, um, uh, cocktail, uh, uh, happy, happy hour, hour. excuse yeah. me, happy hour. And I was like, where are you going? Oh, I'm going here. I'm going there. We're going to stop at other couple places. And I'm thinking, there goes those dollars yeah. right off our campus. Yeah. If we had a place where they'd say, we're going to go to happy hour and they're going to our club, it's more money for who? It's more money for the club. It's more money for the staff. Yeah. And those are the, that, that is the opportunity where you can keep good staff in place yeah. because they're making more money. Yeah. yeah. And everyone's having fun. Yeah. If you talk to, to a bartender, they want action. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's a very long day for them, mm -hmm. okay? So the more people that are there, the busier they are, the more drinks that they're making, the more fun people are having, they're, having, they're loving their job. Yeah. And that's yeah. the atmosphere I think we're missing here. Yeah. And I think that for the most part, uh, people look at it, as, well, we really don't need that, but we really do need that. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of new people that have moved into the community and that's what their expectations are. You know, that, that's a really interesting point of view, and it, and it hasn't been brought up before, is, um, you know, as a new, newer resident, mm -hmm. um, you know, you make mention of how friendly and welcoming the community is, but right. it's still hard, hard to break into. To break into. Yes. You know, and I, I've really never thought of it like that. And even when you just think about the club in general, you know, the, the facility, it's a great clubhouse. Mm -hmm. I mean, it stood the test of time. Sure. But really when you start kind of dissecting the project and you look at what we have today, and I know it's difficult sometimes to envision what's possible. Oh, absolutely. But the club itself is very almost um, compartmentalized, you know, and, and sectioned off, you know. And, and when you think about opening certain areas up and creating some new venues and, and uh, new elements, um, it's just, it's, it's interesting to think about how that adds to an already welcoming environment. Last year, because of the pandemic, I had friends of ours who invited us out to their uh, club to have dinner. Mm -hmm. And we sat outside and had a fantastic dinner yeah. under the, sun, uh, under the uh, stars. And um, I invited them to here to play yeah. golf, yeah. to return the favor. 
And they said, well, we're going to sit outside and eat. And I said, well, that might be an issue. Yeah. And we have a few bar <laughs> a few tables out in the parking lot, okay? Yeah. And well, yeah, last year, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. And it was like, oh, okay, really? Well, can we go in and eat and wear our mask? Yeah. And so I was a little embarrassed, to be honest with you, okay? Sure. But once they had the service, mm -hmm. and uh, I believe if I remember correctly, uh, Alex was our, our, our waiter. My friend said, I have never had service like this in a club. Yeah. the way that gentleman just provide the service really to us to and we sat inside and took our mask off and put it on and, uh, but the fact was is that we didn't have a place for them to go sit outside yeah. and we still don't have that place right and uh, this is South Florida people yeah. want to be outside yeah and if it's a hundred degrees and it's humid I'm sure we can have sprayers and we can have things sure. that can cool people yeah. down and what do we have you're not going to walk in and say Gosh, is there a spot at the bar for me? Is there a table for me? You know there's going to be a spot available yeah. for you because we'll have three areas that you can eat and drink at. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I'm not em emphasizing the drinking part. I'm emphasizing the social aspect sure. of things. Sure. And uh, I think that that is an area that we will look back if it's passed, and hopefully so it is, we'll look back and say, how did we ever do without it? Yeah. I mean, real. how did we ever do without it? Because yeah. that's, I think, how it's really going to turn out for everyone. Can I ask you which club you were at, which club your friends took I was to? at, uh, well, first of all, we were across over at uh, Naples Heritage. Yeah. And then we were up in, um, uh, is it uh, Heritage Bay? Okay, yeah. You know, out there. Yeah, uh, both both those properties have done some extensive it's enhancements. That's exactly and, right. And with the outdoor element, yeah. Right, and uh, there was another one up in uh, beyond, Be uh, I can't think of the name of it right now. They just did a, yeah. a massive restructure, yeah. and it was absolutely breathtaking. Yeah. You know, and the, with the open bar area and that. And, and it was like uh, we went up there to play bocce ball, and we went in to have a drink, and there was like 20 people at the bar. And it was like they were having a great old time, and they were watching a ball game. And I was like, "God, this is so this cool. is fun. Yeah, yeah this is yeah. great." Yeah, it's a good feeling. And, and uh, we came home, and Mary and I talked about it, and I said, God, "That's the one area that we're you know, we have everything else. We've got we've got everything. We've got the people with the staff." As I mentioned, one area that we're missing, and I hope that we can just nail that one yeah. down. So, um, with a project of this size. Mm -hmm. You know, naturally, not everybody's on sure. board. You sure. know, um, and that's not specific to countryside. Every community that's Every gone community. through something like right. this, you have right. people who are in support, people who are middle of the road, people who are not in support. Um, so I'm interested. What are you hearing out there um, in terms of concerns of the project, and and um, you know, kind of what is your take on that? Yeah, the concerns are multi, and I think there's some valid concerns. Uh, on how they're looking at it, mm -hmm. okay? And I'm, I'm glad that I heard those concerns. Uh, I think what happens to a lot of times is if you have somebody negatively talking about 2.0, other people in the area won't say anything mm -hmm. because they don't want a conflict, sure. okay? So what I did was I would ask people and I would never give them my feelings, mm -hmm. okay? Because I didn't want that conflict in, in, in heavy, hard discussion, okay? Uh, I would rather address it at, at, at a meeting in, in an open setting. Um, what they were saying is, is that you know, six months a year, there's nobody here. Yeah. Okay. Why are we investing, or why are we spending money on it, uh, when everything is just fine? Mm -hmm. um, number two, why are we spending this money on this pool that no one's going to use? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, our prob uh, the third thing I just recently heard is, I would vote for it, Chuck, if we did the projects where we built the uh, exterior dining and we didn't disturb anything else in the meantime. Mm -hmm. Got that up and running and then turned around and did mm -hmm. phase two. Mm -hmm. And then we did phase three and completed sure. everything. Sure. You know, there's a valid point. They're very yeah. concerned about, you know, being shut down, staff being shut down, uh, not making money. Do we lose staff mm -hmm. because, we, because we're going through the construction site? So as I address that, that issue about doing it in different phases, very valid. Okay, it's something that management has to look at. I'm sure probably cost is more expensive by doing it different fa different mm -hmm. phases versus, and that's something we have to look at and, and look at the numbers and say it, it makes sense to do it all at one time. 
it's less per month to do it all every then we that's what we have to do we have yeah. to bite the bullet and do it okay uh, the part of you know there's nobody here for six months people are extending their stays here yeah it's the weather up north it's colder in May, uh, April and May than it used to be, mm -hmm. okay? They're extending their stays. They're coming down sooner, okay? Yeah. Um, I come down in September, okay? In October, November, I, 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 come and, I come and go because I love being here and yeah. it's a great time to play golf, okay? Uh, and I can get a, a tea time fairly reasonable. So, and I just enjoy being here. So I think that that's happening, and I think with the younger people that are moving into the community, I think that that's, that will, uh, will just work itself through, yeah. okay? Um, what I really want to address, and I'm going to look at the camera for a second, and that is, is that everyone looks at this as its cost. Nobody wants to spend money. I hear that, okay? But do we not paint our walls in our units to update them? Do we look at that as a cost? Yeah, to buy the paint or have the painter come, it's a cost, but it's really an investment in my property. And I think that that's what we need to look at is not the cost per month, it's the investment that we're making in the property. Sure, okay, we may say to ourselves, I'm never gonna sell, so I don't really care about my investment. I don't care that it's gonna, it's gonna appreciate. But bottom line, we're all gonna get called to, with, <laughs> to, but, move but to move on, yeah. okay? Yeah. And are we going to leave it for our families? Are we going to leave it for charities? Sure. Why not upgrade now and enjoy it while yeah. we're alive, mm -hmm. okay? I mean, our life is too short. Why worry about $100 a month if that's what the cost comes down to be when we can enjoy it in the meantime? That's an investment, and all we are doing is investing in ourselves, investing in our property. And the investment in ourselves is enjoying it. And uh, we have to get away from, we're spending more money, it's a cost factor. It's an investment in ourselves yeah. and in the property. Yeah, in, in the lifestyle. And that's the life, That's what I'm saying in ourselves, yeah. it's the lifestyle. Yeah. You know, I mean, I, bottom line, Joe, we're gonna have to do this sooner or later. Yeah. Okay, today it's $100 a month, okay? Let's say we decide to hold off and don't do it for five years. What's the cost going to be then? I mean, in the meantime, we have five years of not being able to enjoy it. Sure. So my feelings are is, is that let's, let's get it done, let's invest in it, let's enjoy it, and we'll look back and we will say, how did we ever think twice about doing this? This yeah. was the best thing we could have ever done. Yeah. I mentioned to you earlier, um, you know, we hear that regularly um, regarding the Wellness Center. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of residents, when, when the community was going through that project, they, see you know, that. Sure. now they say, I really couldn't picture the community with it, mm -hmm. and now I can't picture it without it. Right. You know, it was, right. it's kind of like build it and they'll come. Right. You know, provide the opportunity and people will use it. And, you know, I, I, I believe you're going to see a lot of that with a project like this, too. And, and you know, you summed it up well in terms of, um, you know, life is short. Mm -hmm. You know, let's, let's have, let's get the disruption over now. Right you know, improve the facilities. And yeah, even if you delay it, you lose that time of being in it, enjoying it, using it. You know, and even when you look at, um, you know, potentially phasing the project, um, you know, all those things come into play also. Sure, you sure. know, mm -hmm. when, when we can do it as one project, it's less disruption to you, mm -hmm. it's less disruption to the staff. Um, we do plan to operate through the project, okay. should it pass. Okay. We're working on a lot of those plans now. Um, obviously, food and beverage service is going to be highly modified, sure, but yeah, we will right. have something available. Um, and most important to us is retaining our core staff through the oh, project. God, absolutely. You know, we are 100% going to do that because they are the lifeblood of the community, you know, and I see them as the most important asset we have, um, and retaining them is, is very important to us. We don't want to have staff turnover. No. Not at no, all. Not That's at all. for sure. The, um, what I was going to mention earlier was that um, one other issue that I had heard was the the pool. Mm -hmm. Can I address that? Yeah, absolutely. I was gonna I was gonna ask you about okay. that. Okay. Yeah. So the pool is um, I look at the pool as I mentioned earlier to someone that it, it's like we bake the cake, mm -hmm. we put icing on it, 
but nobody knows that it's, whose birthday it is. We didn't yeah. we didn't finish the cake, okay? And the pool is a a, a a social atmosphere that's going to be the icing on the cake. And yes, everyone will not use it. Some people may never use it, but when the opportunity for other people to come, jump in the pool, have family members there, meet other people there, and not have to go home and put on a collared shirt, okay, oh. okay, and change out of their bathing suit, can turn around and have dinner and walk home or jump in their car and drive home. That is keeping the revenues on place, yeah. uh, on campus, and everyone is enjoying it. And that's when I think, let's look at the pool. If it really cost us $5 a month or whatever the dollar amount is, why not finish the cake mm. and complete the project? Because there's going to be a lot of people who are going to look and say, look at that pool. The opportunity that we have to exercise in the pool, mm -hmm. okay, to socialize around mm -hmm. the pool, to eat and drink around the pool. Mm -hmm. I come by this pool uh, as, as I was walking over here from Provinceway, and I looked and I said, what would, what would make me come to this pool? Mm -hmm. The only thing that would make me come to this pool is because I couldn't get in in my other pool. Yeah. But to be honest, we, if we had a new pool and it had an opportunity for me to have a drink and, and have food and, and, and meet people, I would probably be here more than anywhere. Yeah. You said you're a lap swimmer also, right? I'm a lap swimmer. Yeah. And, and I, can't, I can't swim here because I'm six foot four. Yeah. And by the time I hit one side, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm flipping over. I'm going to the other side. And I'm more yeah. exhausted. Yeah. Uh, and my understanding is we may have laps yep, that's and lanes plan. in the pool. And, yep. and, you know, that's once again provides an opportunity to be healthier. Yeah. Okay. And to maximize that pool. Yeah. So, well, you know, I'm, I'm huge into fitness. It's been a huge part of my lifestyle for, for a long time. Um, I've, I've taken up swimming late in life. Okay. I wish I would have started earlier. I'm late in life too. Um, but you, you think about being able to come down in the morning, mm -hmm. swim your laps. That's right. And then, walk right up into the you know outdoor restaurant and, and grab breakfast absolutely oh my goodness would that be phenomenal you know so you get yeah. your workout in you sit down you have you know a bowl of oatmeal and right. some eggs or something you know where you're not having to go home oh, and, right you know yeah i mean uh, that's just that, a whole nother element we don't have today it, we don't have it right you know that, yeah. that is is uh it's fun to think about well and you think about the fact is is that you're the wellness center yeah. some people like to do a combination of both yeah. Like to get maybe a half a mile swim in, sure. Go well, on the treadmill, work the treadmill. out in there, lift some weights. Yeah. Okay. We really don't have that. Yeah. Okay. And that is, uh, once again, will draw more people to countryside. Yeah. Well, and, and it goes with our whole Blue Zones initiative. You yes, know, and right. then you know the nutrition is a big aspect so of that too. So to, to be able, I, I kind of pair those together. You know, you come down, you get your workout in, you hit the wellness center, and boom, you're, you're right there on right property. There. You grab something nutritious it's, to eat. It's great. Refuel yourself. Absolutely. I don't know. Right, right. Um, and someone said to me recently, well, it's going to change the culture. Mm -hmm. And I said, really? Um, my feelings are is, is that it's only going to change the culture if you allow it to change mm -hmm. the culture. You personally allow it to change. Yeah. I think it's going to enhance the culture, yeah. okay, to be able to bring people together. Uh, we have such a friendly uh, group of people here who are residents, we can enhance that by even yeah. becoming even more friendly to yeah. each other. And yeah. um, I think it, I, I don't, I, it's up to the individual. If they want to make it uh, uh, to themselves that it's changed our culture, that's them personally. That's not the yeah. the country club. Culture is people. People, yeah. You know, right. and um, it, it's the staff. It's it's our internal culture that we have, you know, as an organization. Yep. And it's the interaction between our our staff and our members. Sure. That is the culture. Right. You know, and I think you're right. I think it's only going to enhance it. Yeah. So. And you know, wouldn't it be great to have um, a ball game on and we receive an email saying. Wing 75 cents. Yeah. All right. Uh, 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 tap beer, you know, 50 cents or, yeah. or, or, or f f uh, a couple dollars, whatever. whatever and have people come uh, to enjoy themselves yeah. on a Sunday afternoon. Gather. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Yeah. And we don't have that. Yeah. And yeah. we can do so much more in marketing, mm -hmm. okay, if we have the at, uh, facilities mm -hmm. to handle that kind yeah. of a crowd. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. So it'd be fun. Well, um, I wanted to maybe just a couple more yeah, questions sure. here um, from the committee's point of view or your point of view of the committee. Mm -hmm. 
What are you, is there anything they're missing in terms of um, continuing to, you know, correct information, um, get information out there? I mean, you know, we're looking to go to a vote towards uh, the end of March. Okay. Um, you know, we're, we're in February now. So really, what do you think needs to happen over the next several weeks? Just not to necessarily sway people one way or the other, but more so to make sure people have the correct information. It's a very valid point. We're not trying to sway anybody anything. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What we're doing is trying to provide them to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Mm -hmm. Okay. Of what can we can yeah. provide here, and I think a lot of people uh, who are not sure or on the fence or negative about the 2.0 is is that they really don't understand what we're trying to project for the future. Yeah. And the committee could not have done a better job on those presentations that, mm -hmm. that have been made, uh, the drawings uh, of, of trying to present what everything's gonna look, nothing, there was, didn't miss a beat, yeah. didn't miss a beat. The only mm -hmm. point at this stage is people have to listen to these, mm -hmm. okay, conversations, make a decision on what they're hearing that's the truth and not rumor, Yeah. okay? Facts only, okay? Yeah. And then make a decision on your own that personally affects you, not what you're hearing from somebody else, yeah. okay? Yeah. If this is a good thing and it, it, it's good for you and it's good for your family and your spouse or whatever, okay? Then you make that decision to vote yes, okay? If not, then it's a vote no. But bottom line is, please look at what the future is going to be. Mm. And Joe has mentioned it uh, about the wellness center. It was no way we don't need it, and now couldn't live without it. Yeah. yeah. And and I think that this, this is the same project here that we need to look at down the road, not a hundred dollars a month. Yeah. Well, that's great advice. I really appreciate that. And uh, you know, we're going to get out into the community in the next several weeks here. That's great. Um, doing a lot of the committee set up the sub association kind of poolside chats. Mm -hmm. Um, so again, I, I really encourage you know our residents, if you haven't attended a proof of concept meeting, oh, yeah. um, do so. We, we've got two more scheduled at the end of the month, um, and then the committee will be out um, throughout the community um, to do some Q&A sessions, and uh, they want to hear feedback. Absolutely. You know, and they want to also provide correct information because I think the biggest hurdle is is the rumor mill, mm -hmm. you know, and that's just, it's, it's the nature of, of sure. something like this. Absolutely. So, um, Mr. Matson, I really appreciate Great. your time today. Great. Glad um, I could be here. Countryside, as always, if you have questions, comments, you can reach out to me. Um, we do have a general inbox for the committee, masterplan at csgcc.net, so you can send comments, feedback, questions directly to them there. Um, again, I appreciate your time today. Sure. Safe travels. You're Thank headed you. back up to the cold. Yeah, right. Just uh, see, see a couple of young kids basketball well, games and I'll be back. That'll be fun. Hopefully <laughs> they're all inside. I'll be back as, uh, next Saturday. Excellent. Well, we look forward to seeing you when you. you're back in town. Um, countryside, thanks for watching as always. And thank you again. You're welcome.